Good evening. Uh, yeah, welcome to Kate's No Foot Football, The Rivals, second show of The Rivals, where we're going through uh, different uh, different results over the weekend that are not Chelsea. If you want to catch our Chelsea review of the Fulham game, it's with uh, the video which, which we did with Eunice yesterday afternoon. Uh, so you can go ahead and please view that video. Give us a like on that as well. Big up to uh, the intro again for Marshall. Awesome, <laughs> awesome intro. Um, also, this is our first uh, stream where the channel is now monetized. So if you go on it, you might see an advert that pops up on it. So also, it's a, if you might see down where you can put a chat, you can put super chats in now. Um, listen, we, we read all your chats. So if you want to put a, a super chat, that is up to you to do so. But we will read all your chats. Who's this guy? Hang on. Some guy called Marshall. Oh, it's the first one, Marshall. Marshall, super <laughs> chat. Thank you very much, first. Marshall, for your donation. Dollars. Oh, for God's sake. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, we American money. Out here. <laughs> and then Lambs. Lambs, who's that? Oh, yeah. Yeah, geez. I'm the first to support the rivals. <laughs> I thought Just, I yeah, was. I'll put you on top because Marshall's gone <laughs> in dollars. It's my no, wife, put, man. No, I'll put you top because that this is in this is more. So Marshall's is in right, dollars. Right. Fair, fair enough. No, she's right. She's right. She's, she's right. Economic benefit. Big up a gal. Thank you, <laughs> Alex. Thank you very much. Sammy, thank you. Christians in there. Hamid's in here. Thank you very yeah. much, guys. Lam, Lam's the bigger because she's providing the bread over here, man. Hi, like, I'm, yeah, I'm, just, yeah. I'm on crumbs oh, here. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, Kai! Please. Oh, we have us. We have our third super chat. Yeah, thank you very much, Lens. This channel is definitely uh, PR. Yeah, thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> what a nice one. Uh, hi, Kai. Kai's watching us. Uh, yes, uh, finally we are live, Prime. Yes. Uh, yeah. Hello, Sammy. We're on thank time. you very much. This isn't a calling show, guys, but please uh, obviously put your chats in. We will put them up, whether it's super chats or not. Don't worry about that. That's not changing on this channel. Uh, like and share the video. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to do so. Thank you very much. That's all the business shilling out the way at the start of the uh, stream. Uh, but let's go ahead and uh, thank you very much, Monsa. Um Let's go ahead and start the game. So we're covering, we're not covering every single game, uh, as you'll realize. Um, but let's start. It was Friday, right? Friday, I believe. It was Southampton 1, Leicester 1. A very good result for everyone chasing uh, Leicester. Uh, I'll look into that for you, Hamid. No problem. Uh, <laughs> everyone, everyone, ch everyone chasing Leicester. Leicester dropped points. They were down 1-0. And also, they were playing against 10 men for 80 minutes. Um, yeah. So, Lambs, what did you think of the game uh, at all? Uh, what do you think of the, what, what do you think of the overthrowing that happened during that game? Um, I only caught the highlights because yeah. I didn't actually get to watch the game. But um, yeah, again, great. Uh, it's a good result for Leicester, I suppose, considering you know the circumstances, and it shows that they really are determined, despite the injuries, despite you know probably the mentality, lack of experience, and really trying to secure the, these Champions League spaces mm. um, season. Obviously, it's great that they dropped points because yeah. we need them to drop points. Um, we still need to face them, and obviously, um, us picking up points over the weekend was great. P puts us um, um, in in a great position to possibly even overtake them in third, because now we go two points behind them. So, um, Southampton themselves not been in a great run of form, so I really wasn't expecting much from that game. But you know, maybe having Danny Ings back has given them a bit of a boost um, towards the um, latter end of the part of the season. I mean, they're safe. They're safe anyway. It doesn't really really matter at this point, mm. but. Still, it kind of went from having such a great start to quite a capitulation. So they do need to maybe work on that and, you know, increasing their squad depth a bit. But, you know, very, very happy that Leicester dropped points. I do think that, um, I do think that they, they still they still are a threat. But I think um, while it's still in our hands, we should, I, 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 I'm confident we're going to win. But big up to Southampton. But, you know, it's fairly, not really, really an interesting game, was it? It didn't really look like, like, so anyway but no no i guess the most important bit is the result and leicester yeah. leicester had to come back from behind and they were playing eight i said 80 minutes sorry they're playing 10 men for 80 minutes uh slens um what did you think of the what do you think of, did you did you watch them what did you think did you was it a surprising result for you um to be thank with you very you. much Hamid. congratulations thank you very much guy appreciate it thank that. you man. the blue flag blowing out a fly yeah. out, of course that's um, right Listen, the best way to describe Leicester is by this. 
I'm starting to smell it. I'm starting to smell it. They might bottle it again. Sorry, they might, it, I might yeah. bottle it again. I'm starting to smell it, man. The bottle's coming along, man. They might. I think I'm feeling it, man. They could do it again. They could do it again. But um, honestly speaking, Leicester always give you hope that um, we're comfortable in the top four because you know they're going to somehow fumble this. It was 10 men for a long time and they, sh- they should have won that game, but they didn't. Southampton gone through a very poor uh, run of um, poor form. And we know Southampton, they can be quite um, expan- expansive and, and, and open in the back. But Leicester couldn't exploit it. Um, so, honestly speaking, man, the game was, as, as Lam said, it wasn't the, the best of games. Mm. But it's the, the best story from it is that Leicester are, are looking to to do the same thing they did last year. It's weird, isn't it? So it's, it's the yeah. same situation as the game they played Southampton last season. Mm-hmm. Southampton went down to 10 men. Leicester batted them 9-0. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, is, good point. Good point. You know what I mean? what? Yeah, it's yeah. exactly it's just a different part of the season. Is it mm. the fact that it's not in December and it's in April, the business end of the season, that um uh, Leicester are now are they think are do, do you think they've got mind do you think the players have got their minds on the cup final as well? Of course they do, of course they do. But but I do think what like um top four man, like you need experience, man. You need experience down, down the stretch the last stretch of games. You need experience, you need your leaders start to stand up and, and calm you down through the games. But I feel like they're still having the same nerves as last year. Which I'm not saying they're going to bottle it, but I'm saying I'm starting to feel like they're going to do it. I got, for a long time, I thought, yes, and these men are top four, like they've solidified yeah. the position. But honestly speaking, they just need to, to calm their heads and just get, rely on, on the experienced players and, and just finish off games, man. But they just can't do that. Marshall, um... Everyone, uh, every, I saw, I saw everyone's uh, pre- previews of this game. Southampton have not been in a great run of form whatsoever, and given the circumstances that they went down to ten men in very controversial bowl, uh, bowls, by all accounts, yeah, were you yeah. surprised that they were first that they even took the lead and that they even hung on for a draw? Um, yeah, I, I am surprised. Uh, what surprised me more about Southampton, uh, bleh, I, that totally came out wrong. Southampton is that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> is that Southampton? Um, is that? <laughs> are you doing? Are you doing down there in Southampton? You know? Are you doing? Are you doing oh yeah? man, you sure you're not in New York, it's Andrew? Tony G, Tony G, you know, He's from Southampton. Yeah? Um, what's su- what surprised me more about the Southampton is that um, <laughs> they, <laughs> they, they, this complete drop in form from the beginning of the season. Like, I don't know what happened. I don't know if something was dropped in their water or whatever. They they looked so good and convincing in the beginning of the season. Um, <laughs> but ever since they beat Liverpool, it's just been a dramatic drop in form for them. I don't understand. Uh, I feel bad because I, at the beginning of the season, I was really rating Hassan Hoodle and every, all the work he was doing with the team and the strategy and the tactics and all that. Um, but yeah, this game... I did watch it. Uh, you guys didn't miss much. It was quite a boring game. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah, Ian Nacho giving up that penalty. Uh, I didn't actually get to see the foul, but uh, it was a little controversial based on what people were saying, which is, I mean, that's been like the pinnacle of the season, just controversy with VAR, offsides and penalties and well, changing Marshall, the rules. It's was, been was, ridiculous. Ings fit? was Ings fit? Did he play? I don't, I don't even think Ings played. I think Minamino was oh. up there. Minamino was up there, and that's another one too. Minamino has been—he scored for against us and hasn't done jack shit. So it's like, I love—I love how all these Liverpool fans were hyping up Minamino for the longest time, but he's done absolutely mina nothing, like literally absolute <laughs> nothing. So um, yeah, he's been a disappointment for them too. Uh, Kyle Walker Peters was the one that scored a penalty, and then Ianacho made up for his mistakes. Um, Lester, honestly, Lester could have won this. Um, they, there was a there was a play that a, a brilliant brilliant play of individual uh, skill from Jamie Vardy to just completely make, put himself in a position to be one on one with the keeper. Yeah, and and pulls a Werner just directly at the keeper, gets yeah. nothing out of it. That could have put them two one. Yes. Um, yeah, Ian Nacho made up. Verb guys, is that an official verb? Pulls a Werner. 
<laughs> well, honestly, it could change because no, 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 at it, this it point, does, Timo hasn't every, been that great. It changes every season. The summer, you know, it's like it changes away, every season. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah, yeah especially it, it should have been. It was Paul's of Firmino last season. Do you know what I mean? Now, yeah, yeah, that, yeah, that too. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. But yeah, he he bottled that. Um, Ian Nacho made up for his mistakes by uh, getting a nice. Uh, what was it like? A, J- J- uh, Johnny Evans, he he cornered, he sent it across it to Johnny yeah. Evans, and Johnny Evans went ahead and headed it in, yeah. and he's been looking good recently. But yeah, this result is very very good for us. Uh, they drop points, we get a lot closer to um, overtaking that third place, and hope hopefully um, we can do it before that decisive game. Well, that's what I was going to come on to. They play Man United before they play us in the cup final. We play them after the cup final, but obviously we've got Man City and Arsenal before that. I really want to get to that Leicester League game and it, if we beat them, have a, an effect either going above them or pushing a distance between us. But Andrew, obviously, yeah. So, so they have United. They've got someone Chelsea, else in United, but yeah. And two more, two more teams. Honestly, yeah, yeah. man, listen, these men could do it again. It's happened again. It could happen the, again. I'm the thing you. is, since we've got obviously we've got... Um, wait, um, West Ham's remaining fixtures are, I don't know, does anyone know? Uh, they're they're playing easier, Burnley right now, for sure. but they have easier ones. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah easier they, ones. they have. They have what they have is they on paper, West Ham have winnable, uh, winnable games, but then this season, they've got like they've got Antonio back, so it's probably going to give them. Yeah, Antonio, uh, I'm watching the game right now, right in front of me, which is why I was finicking with my phone a lot. They do have um, Everton. They do have Everton next. Um, Tony's been really West good, Ham, man. Yeah, and then they've got Brighton away. That's difficult yeah, yeah, yeah. as well. They're fighting for survival as well. Yeah, so. and then they've got West Ham and Southampton as their last two. Um, where yeah. there's like, uh, let me just pick up Leicester's ones. Um, so Leicester, Leicester have uh, yeah, Newcastle on another Friday night game again. Jeez. Um, yeah, they have Newcastle on Friday. Then they have um, Man United on the same day we play Arsenal. Uh, then, then it's both of us in the cup final, and then they got us literally four days. We play each other four days after the cup final, mm. and then they wow. got, and then they got Tottenham on, uh, on the last day of the season. So oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Why they is the cup first. final mid season as well? Like? <laughs> it's, well it's yeah, all the that was a weird back, one, isn't man. Because oh, like we started, we started the league season in September. Remember, guys, we didn't mm. start it in August. We started it in mid September, so that's why. Mm. Um, but yeah, they've got. They, they, everyone talks about our run of fixes, um, but theirs is equally. As um, tough as well um, after Newcastle, I don't expect Newcastle really to cause them any much issue. But yeah, so Leicester are they bottling it? Is it the second year in a row? You would expect them to learn from last season, but are they going to bottle it again? We don't know. Hopefully they will. Ho- hopefully, you know what? If they bottle it, I don't care. Um, <laughs> there we go. So um, let's move on then. So Leicester drop points, get a drop points. So that was very good. Let's move on to. Uh, Palace nil, Manchester City two. That leaves them within uh, three points of winning uh, the league. And the next game is against Chelsea. Uh, Lambs, uh, some new guy called Sergio Aguero scored a banger um, <laughs> in the league. I think he might. I think he's going to do good things in the league. Uh, what did you? What did you think of Sergio Aguero's goal? Because it was literally it was a toe punt outside of a foot blaster, wasn't it? So. Just goes to show, no matter what injury this, injury that, like finish done. The guy, you can't listen. You can't deny the quality. You can't deny how clinical, how potent the guy is. You can't deny his achievements. What he's done, you know, one of the Premier League's all-time um, best um, top goal scorers for a reason. Do you know what I mean? And I, I don't think we've seen the last of him. I feel like if somehow we, you know, end up facing a certain Pep team in a Champions League final, I think, considering this will be his bowing out stage, wouldn't it be <laughs> idyllic and poetic if he would just be there to score the winner or to score one of the goals yeah. just to get himself on the score sheet? Because he, he's still somebody that can bring that to, to the squad, you know what I mean? Um, yeah. Uh, wouldn't it be poetic as well for him to just score against us and, you know, get them the points that will win them the league? <sighs> That but, is, but but I do I do believe that no matter what they know the league is theirs anyway. Tuchel 
Tuchel was smart enough to challenge Pep. I do believe that. I feel like he has the tools. When it's been necessary for us to kind of get our... Like, even under Lampard, when it's yeah. been necessary for us, you know, kind of get our... Wait, can, can I say shit together? Of course you can. It's no filter. Okay. Right. <laughs> <laughs> just don't say, just don't it's the same channel. It's the same channel. Come on. It's the same channel. It's the same channel. Yeah. Nothing's yeah. yeah. <laughs> right, right. changed. Yeah, because obviously you guys are monetized now. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Yeah. No, no, come we're on. Fine, come we're on. Fine, it's the same thing. If you were to say the S word like every other word. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, if we was like even last year when we were supposed to get our shit together against City and get the points. Get up. Together, <laughs> <laughs> even under Lampard at the end of last season against City, we we did what we needed to do. Do you know what I mean? We got those yeah. points, and essentially, I think that was a very big three points that ended up getting us those Champions League spaces in the end. Yeah. Um, so I think that when it comes to the big games, we do turn up, we perform. It's against those, it's against the lower teams, to be honest, that we're probably more likely to pick up a draw or a narrow defeat mm. for some yeah. reason. Do you know what I mean? Mm. So I, I feel really confident, actually. Um, I, Yeah, yes, they're going to want to win the league, but there's, they are going to win the league. They know they're going to win the league. I don't... Yeah. I, I no think one cares. Gonna, no one cares. I, yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean? No, 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 you're right. No, no one no cares. One. I swear, no, no one cares. No, no one cares. Um, well done. Well done. Yeah. I, <laughs> You got Pep Guardiola. So, so yeah, like so, I expected so them to bowl over Palace as easy. You know what I mean? Yeah, now, should, yeah. I um, listen. Do you know what, um, um, Andrew? Just to say yeah. one thing about Aguero, and then yeah. then you can move to Marshall. One thing about Aguero, uh, people are telling me you're the one because he's injured. Yeah, the truth is, I would rather have four months of Aguero than nine months of Werner. So no matter how fit he is, I'm honest. Honestly, it's just the way it is because his quality that he brings in. If if he can be on form for four months. Yeah. Then the results we get will benefit the team. The nine months of, of an out of form Werner, does that really? Ver, Ver, you know I mean? put, That's how they I see. Might, it. They might play. To, they could play together. And Werner could, could I mean, exactly because and, Andrew, if if you compare it to last year, um, um, Giroud, Giroud played mm. from January and further to, to the end of the season. But the, yeah. by the beginning part of the season, he wasn't very effective and he didn't play much. But it shows you this guy was here for for a short amount of time, but he had a bigger impact than Tammy. He scored more important well, goals. That, if so Werner, there you go. If, Werner will, if Aguero comes to Chelsea, Werner will manage. Uh, not Werner. T Tuka will manage him. Um, will ma will manage him well. He won't mm. play every game. Fact. He will. He will. You know. He will. He won't play every game. He'll be in the, he might, He's managed Thiago Silva. So exactly. Well. Exactly. Yeah. And and Kante because of his injuries as well. Um, yeah. So yeah. Um, uh, Marshall Sergio Aguero. I was surprised. He's not. I know he's been out injured, but he's not even registered ten goals. This yeah. season, um, which is obviously yeah. due to his injuries and being left out, um, but mm -hmm. uh, Sergio Aguero banging in, and then uh, Ferran Torres notching his uh, tenth goal of the season as well. Yeah. Um, he looks like a very good side foot finish. I thought um, another one that possibly will step up more next season than this season. What did you think? I'll be honest with you guys. I didn't bother with this game. <laughs> it, was, it was it was too early for me. <laughs> yeah, first yeah. of all, uh, you already know the result. You know, like there's no real surprises. Like Crystal Palace has been terrible lately. Oh my god, like absolutely terrible. They're they're suffering. Um, but yeah, it, thank it's, you, Charlotte. I, thank you. Charlotte. Thank you so much, Charlotte. Thank much you, Charlotte. appreciated. Much appreciated. Um, we do appreciate thank you. that, Charlotte. It, it, it's one of those subscribe that, to Strong um, TV. Subscribe to Strong TV. Subscribe, yeah. man. You'll find all of us, all of us on here right now. You'll oh, find yeah. sorry, us on our channel right time. Sorry, sorry, Marshall. Sorry, Marshall. Yeah, so, yeah. All the links to our channels are in here and Twitter as well. So please. And uh, we, are on, we all are featured on this channel as well. Yes, right. on Strong TV. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we will, we will be on there. Most, we will be on most of us will be there Wednesday for the watch. Yeah. Yeah, okay, definitely check it out, guys. There's there's plenty of content over on uh, Strong yeah, TV for you guys so, to yeah. check out that you might enjoy. So, um, but yeah, back to the game. Um, I I only heard I heard about who scored. I heard uh, that Aguero scored, and I was really surprised that Aguero was even playing. Because let's get it right. As much as Aguero's been injured, Pep has also not really been preferring him. Um, yeah. I mean, there have been games where he's been fit and he just doesn't play him, and it's just like. I don't know if he's just managing him or he just doesn't – he just likes the system he's playing without a striker and doesn't yeah. want to disrupt that system. I don't know. With Pep, you can never tell. But, uh, yeah, there's no denying that no matter – I think the biggest news surrounding Man City is where Aguero is going to go and who's going to take his place. 
Um, and no matter where Aguero goes, the quality is going to be there. Um, I feel with Aguero, if he can stay fit, he can figure out his fitness issue. Um, <laughs> maybe maybe stop playing FIFA so much and just you know figure out <laughs> uh, figure out how um, to stay fit. Like yeah. Pulisic seems to be figuring out lately. Um, I think Aguero is going to be on that route that Abramovich is in. Uh, not Abramovich, uh, Ibrahimovic is on where this man doesn't seem to age. And I would love to see that for him because he'll, he'll never be Ibr- fit, Marshall. It's too late now. He's 32, right? That's it, man. Like if you're, if you're injury prone, you're injury prone at that rate. But do you know what I, I mean? I don't so, know. It's a shame. I, I like it's to special. believe it's, it's 2021. I like to believe in miracles at this point. We have technology. We have better medical teams and all this kind of stuff. You know, I think this idea that once you turn a certain age, you can't play. We saw it with Thiago Silva. He's broken that mold. And Ibrahimovic mm-hmm. is leading that mold. He's actually getting better with age. It's ridiculous. But um, yeah, He's we'll see what happens. Nature. He's a, He is a freak of nature. Yeah. We'll see what happens. I expected that result with Crystal Palace. Um yeah, I think what happens if Man United lose against Liverpool, which was supposed to happen yeah. yesterday, we'll get to that. Um, uh, then they win, right? That's it. Yeah, the the, the rice yeah. is over. Um, so that is the link, guys. If you want a uh, strong TV, it's under the winter surf. If you want to check that channel out, Charlotte has yeah. posted another super chat. So let's read this. Thank you very much again, Charlotte. Uh, Chelsea men will make it to the Champions League final. Chelsea women made it. Yes, they did. Big up to them. Yeah, the Champions League up. final for the first time in the history. And Emma Hayes' interview after the game was absolutely against <laughs> against, Bay- against Bayern Munich of all teams yeah. too. A very a yeah, very strong can, Bayern yeah. Munich it's team. Actually, Im- yeah, that's what I'm saying. Literally, everyone was saying, "Oh, we're going to be out because we're two on down." And I was like, "No, guys, the tie is perfectly poised." And I have a feeling we're going to do it. And I was just, I was like, I was like, "Can you imagine if the women make it to the Champions League yeah. final and the men make it as well?" Oh my god! Yeah. Oh my god. Uh, guys, can I say will be a huge part of history for Chelsea. Yeah, period. Wow. If you guys look at the league table of the team that the women's team is facing, Barcelona, if you look at the league table, it's a madness. This team yeah. is incredible. They've, they've scored 127 goals and conceded wow. like 40. And they've never lost in their league. So, yeah, it's going to be a yeah, tough Yeah, it's going to be tough. I've actually, I've actually never watched a women's game in my life yet, but this might no, be the first I game watched, I watched. I watched the highlights. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The first I, one I watched. I watched the highlights. Uh, so guys, trust me, the women's game is, is, getting, is getting just It's evolving, as, it's evolving. Yeah, it's, it's evolving so much. And it's making it exciting. So it's exciting me to it see. Is, it is. It's very yeah. good. It's very good. Thank you for the super chat, Charlotte. When we do Big it, up, Charlotte, man. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, so Aguero, I, yeah, I think... Part of it is Aguero's fitness, but also I think Pep's just, mm-hmm. he knows he's going, so he's just phasing him out. Yeah, like, yeah. Getting aside to play without him, not re- rely on him. And he's, in a, he mixed, he's made about seven, six or seven changes at the weekend for the second leg coming up, and they've got the title in the bag. Doesn't really matter yeah, when yeah. they win it, essentially. Um, so, yeah, that was City, yeah, and Palace are pathetic, aren't they? They're just pathetic. They really are just. They're on the beach, mate. They're, they're on the beach. Uh, they're on the beach. You know what? You know when they're on the beach. When when they hit, right now. When they hit forty-five points, they're on the beach. They don't bother. When they hit forty-five feet, forty-five points, they're done. They're just they're just a terrible, terrible, boring team. Yeah, she is an amazing manager, uh, and that was a proper proper. Um, uh, if you go see her interview, she just there, there was no filter on her interview. Should I just say? Uh, she let the emotions speak out. Um, uh, we should. Maybe, yeah. Maybe that should happen. Yeah, yeah. I would, love, I would love to join this. Uh, Charlotte, again, another suit chat. Thank you very much. Uh, women's game has been better than the men's this season. It has. They were on that long undefeated streak as well in the league for about 30, was it nearly 40 games or something like that? Um, so that's good. Uh, Is Kai going to make them sure to talk man, to each other? Is Kai going to make sure you man get your cut? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, no worries. <laughs> we're so. we're going to yeah. be managed a lot better than yeah. uh, other channels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you got to have them you got to have them board meetings, guys. Yeah. Like yeah. What, Marshall, what did you say? <laughs> Uh, I said uh, we're, we're uh, going to be managed a little better than other channels. Let's move on. Let's yeah, move on. Let's move on. Yeah, but, you know, let's move on. Uh, yeah. Right. Brighton two Leeds nil. Another fixture where Leeds uh, Leeds uh, Jekyll and Hyde season turns up. Uh, Brighton uh, Brighton basically securing Premier League survival. I think with this game, um, really uh, epitomised by the fantastic goal by Danny Welbeck. I was surprised didn't pull up with an injury after hitting that shot uh, with his <laughs> uh, history. Um, but um, yeah, but what, that was fantastic. Did you see uh, Prime? Did you see Danny Welbeck's goal and Leeds again 
Yeah, pr- Prem's on leads the again with the, leads again with the performance of just yeah. one week they go from here down to here. So did you see the did you see the goal in the, uh, the game? Or I don't the know. Pr- Prime's not here, Andrew. I don't know who you're talking. No, it said Lambs, didn't I? Sorry, he I said, said, oh, said Prime. He said oh, Prime. Oh, yeah, he said Prime. Oh, sorry, Lambs. I do apologise. Sorry, Lambs. Yes, Lambs. Danny Welbeck's goal and leads uh, once again. Checking a high performance. I do apologise. <laughs> that's the thing um with leads you just don't know what leads is going to show up that's the thing like it could be yeah really that that's just looking like prime barcelona sometimes and other times it could be literally like oh championship side leads you just don't know literally um with Brighton, again, they're another one of them teams that I just I just feel really bad for the guys. Sorry, um, let me just let me just sorry to This is a Marshall says Andrew and Lambs. I like, like my 2%, thank you. <laughs> thank you Charlotte, Charlotte just broke her piggy bank and just Charlotte, everything, yeah. man. Just going in. in. I've, I've, got, I've got a mortgage uh, to pay if you want to help yeah. out, man. I've got a mortgage to pay. Jem, yeah, thank you very much, Jem, for Super Chat. Congrats. Oh, my goodness. Let's make the final come on you, Blues. Thank you very much, Jim. We do appreciate it. Subscribe that. to Genie TV as well. Get them to 1K uh, as well, man. Yes, yeah, please. by all means. Please do that. That's, yeah, Lambs, let's, let's, uh, what did you think of Danny Welbeck's goal? It's very yeah, good. Danny Wel- do you know what? Danny Welbeck has been so, like, so influential in this Brighton team. Again, the only, the only um, yes, issue yes. he's had, unfortunately, is the fact that he's so injury prone. Similar issues that he had, obviously, at Arsenal, obviously, that he's had at Manchester United. He's pretty much been paid with it throughout his whole career, which is yeah. sad because I remember we were doing a stream um, on GNA TV talking of, um, so make sure you subscribe to that. We were doing like a, a what if, like what if player. And I remember Ads mentioning um, what Dan, like Danny Welbeck as a potential what if player, like he could have yeah. been something yeah. who wasn't played by injuries and and this is another prime example of of the danny welbeck that could have been do you know what i mean if he wasn't so injury prone because it was a fantastic goal and i'm i'm happy for brighton happy they were able to secure premier league survival because they're another one of them teams they just play great football and graham potter is a fantastic manager and i do really yeah. really highly rate him i just feel sorry they just don't take their chances they just miss yeah. so many chances like yeah. if if a top six team missed as many chances as that, everybody will be screaming at the players, the manager, everybody to get out of the club. Which is why, and which is why, although this is not a debate, which is why if yeah. they can afford it, Tammy Abraham would be a perfect striker for Brighton the way they play, because he can yeah. finish up those chances. Yeah. He only needs to score, he, well, I'm just saying, he only needs to score 10 to 12 goals. That's all he needs to ever do is yeah. score 10 to 12 goals. And he'll yeah. do it. Hang on, yeah. we'll move on, hang on, we'll move on to you, Slens. Uh, Real Chris, thank you. Big support to the channel since day one. Thank you very much. Big up to thank you guys. You so much, Real Chris. 1K and Timo Werner is the best striker in the world. <laughs> I have to read it. I have to read it. I, I can't disagree with it. It's a super chat. So he's absolutely correct on that. Uh, listen, I don't, I don't change my morals because of money, man. No, it's, it's so shit, man. I don't <laughs> care. <laughs> the Slams, the first thing you need to know about business is the customer is always right. <laughs> yeah, 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 listen, yeah, unfortunately. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't go to that. I tend to. I think they're always well, no jokes. Uh, yeah, so, <laughs> yeah, we know, um, we know, Andrew. We know. Yeah, I know. Uh, uh, well, yeah. After after you two take their cut, we'll be fine. Um, but yes, uh, <laughs> Slains, uh, another Jekyll high performance from Leeds. Uh, uh, did you were you surprised or did you expect them to do better with this? Leeds. Um, yeah. Whatever result Leeds have from the from here to the end of the season would not surprise me. Yeah, they lose, yeah. they lose, they win, they win. They've secured. Um, I think they, they want to secure top ten. I think that's that's a good. Um, yeah, yeah. Omen. It's, it's, a, very it's a good. good. Yeah. yeah, it's a good achievement from Bielsa to show to the to the board, and hopefully they can back him with more money. But um, I honestly, it was it was a good game by Brighton. Brighton needed it more, and they showed it during the game. Daniel Welbeck was a great finish man. Listen, like um, that guy has he's he's got good, very very good technical ability, you know. Like, and he's always showed it with United. He, I think yeah. he's just not very clinical, yeah. which is ironic because he plays for. Right, and they need a clinical striker, but yeah, he's not he's not a very clinical striker. But I remember him even when he was younger, man. I remember him first coming up with United. Technical ability was on point. Like he, he will have those touches that will mm-hmm. impress you, that will turn your head. But I think obviously um injuries have let him down. I think it was a great goal. And um yeah, man, listen, like Brighton played good football. I'm happy to see them stay up. I hope they hold on to Graham Potter mm-hmm. and build a build a project with him. Yeah, man, seriously. Yeah, do, yeah. Do you do you think that Leeds, if they don't make significant improve like additions to their squad, mm. do you think they might get found out next year? 
because Leeds we'll... are new, right? Leeds are new, yeah. All right. But what I'm saying is like some of their players might because mm -hmm. I'm not judging Patrick Bamford on this season. I'm judging on next season. Yeah, yeah? Mm -hmm. because it's sort of like that new strike thing. No one, no one's done their coaching. No one's done their scouting properly. Stuff okay. like that. But do you think if they don't make if they don't back Bielsa? Okay. Do you think um, they might like like when I say struggle, like not relegation, but drop further down the table? I'll tell you what, Andrew. For me, yeah, Bielsa requires a certain type of of a player, right? Yeah, like he, yeah. he literally needs it. He, he, I think he literally finds out who the gardener is, what they eat, like who was their third <laughs> girlfriend, like the keys he does to their houses. Studying, yeah, he knows yeah. everything, right? Star sign. So, yeah, right. he knows the stars. <laughs> so for me, I, I think Bielsa, like, it, it might be difficult to find his targets. But yeah. the thing is, people say you say he'll, they might be found out. You have to keep in mind, yeah, throughout the, the half, because I've been watching Leeds. It's one of my, not, I'm not going to say my favorite teams, but the team they're I like to watch. to watch. They're very nice to watch. So when I look at their football, they actually adjusted and they've, and they've um, adjusted to their opposition. For example, against United, when, they lost 6 2 beginning of the season. They have they the second game. Yeah. They have. They have, which shows you, Bielsa, listen, it's Bielsa's a world class manager. People like it or not, he's a world class manager. People like it or not, he is, isn't it? His record says so. His his record this season says so. So he will adjust. Do you know what I mean? That's why he's a great man. That's why you keep him in your club. Do you know what I mean? So I think they'll be fine, man. Honestly, they, they might even improve. For me, I think they'll get into the European, um, like around the European conversation. Another Leicester guys for perhaps. Maybe if they if keep Bielsa. With, yeah. with investment, yeah. with investment possibly. Yeah, possibly. I listen. I bag on Bielsa. Do you know when I bag on people? It's not the people themselves that I bag on. It's the fan people. I call them who overrate them so it's them i'm when i like when i get on neymar it's not neymar himself it's the people <laughs> right, Sven, who overrate uh, him <laughs> so much but yeah listen without listen they've done it well. i mean you can't criticize you can't criticize them. they've been like around like ninth to 12th or something like that that's a that's a brilliant that's a brilliant brilliant finish they can i just make an observation them. um andrew yeah, um, yeah just to let you know bro um they okay. They, they were until up until last week above a certain uh, North London team that is uh, historical and great, and you know what I mean. So that's I don't what know I'm what saying, you're talking man. about. There's no North London teams that are historical. The, great. That's what I'm saying, man. Apparently, yeah. the historical that's, team. Uh, there's a couple mid table North London. Yeah, mid table, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Bang, yeah. Bang average, bang average bottlers. I think you'll find they're called in North London. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> thank you. Pr yeah, pr prime. You, yeah. You have, yeah. Okay. <laughs> You've got the more, more knowledge of, of a doorknob, man. Let's be honest, man. Let's just move on, man. Let's move on. Uh, let's move on. Uh, Marshall, uh, Leeds, Brighton. Did you see the Danny Welbeck goal? Yeah, yeah. Um, so, yeah, that goal was fantastic. Uh, very, very well well composed and well finished by Danny Welbeck. Um, I, you know what it is? It's exactly like what Lamb said earlier. With Leeds, you don't know if you're going to get a prime Barcelona or you're going to get just like rubbish fucking championship team. Like that defense is just shocking sometimes. Like as much as I want to praise Danny Welbeck for his goal, just the fact that that defense let that happen in general, like mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. it was just – who was it? I think it was uh, – I forgot his name. Koch. I think he just completely Clip. just yeah. let that – uh, Klish, it was Klish. Oh, okay, Klish, is it he Klish, yeah. yeah, yeah. He just completely let that ball just go right. He didn't even clear it well. The other guy's like, "What do I do? What do I do?" It's just like the communication with the defense was just absolute. It was a circus. It was a circus. Yeah. Um. So I think the thing about Bielsa, I think if next, if next, uh, you mentioned this, Andrew. If next season he gets backed. He stays in that team. If he doesn't get back, I think Bielsa walks away. Because like, if anything, I think Bielsa really needs is um, better defenders for that. Yeah. Um, and this guy doesn't have an eye for talent. Like let's let's not let's not let's get it straight. Um, he may have gotten it wrong with Rodrigo. Rodrigo yeah. is was their highest transfer fee uh, this this uh, summer. Yeah. Um, and he hasn't really been playing that much. Maybe he hasn't adjusted to the game. I don't know. But we see him play in Spain, and he and he is impressive. Um, but Rafinha, they haven't yeah. had Rafinha in a while. But he scouted. He wanted Rafinha. He got Rafinha, and we saw how amazing West Ham won this guy one, is. Just the like, West Ham won two yeah, yeah. It just ended. Uh, they ended up winning two one. Antonio looked really good. We'll talk about that game in a little bit. Yeah, but well, yeah. um, 
yeah, just Rafinha alone. The fact that they don't have him, I think, was a huge impact on them, not getting that fluency. Uh, even though um, Paveda, Paveda has stepped up, too. Yeah. Like, I saw Paveda play yesterday. He was, yeah. I think he was trying a little too hard um, to get a lot of plays going, but he has some technicality in him, and he has some skill. M- that, Marshall, he's um, not a bum. He came from City, by the way. So it's, it shows you, like, he came from a good school of uh, football. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, it really yeah. showed yesterday uh, when when he played that um, this kid that there's creativity in him. He's just I feel like because he's coming off the bench, he's coming in for Rafinha, who's been missing because um, he has been a bench player most of the season. Um, yeah. He's he, I think he's like, the pressure, you know, the pressure kind of got to him. But yeah, like Leeds is always they have multiple opportunities, but the defense, man, the defense just lets them down. Um, I'm hoping next season. They, we, it'll be very interesting to see what they do next season, um, how they switch it up, if they switch it up, how they improve on that defense, because that defense has cost them a lot of games. Like, I don't like to put the blame on Meslier. Meslier, I feel like, is very young. He's what, what he's like 19, 18. He's a very, very young kid, but you you see the talent in there. You see he does have some world class saves in him, uh, personally, from my my point of view. But okay. yeah, it just was, it wasn't uh, that shocking. You, you never know. It's 50 50 with Leeds. I guess I guess when I when I said um, if um, what how would they do if um, the else is back? I guess also it depends if they can keep all of their good players as well. Because there's bound yeah, to be yeah. some big boys that come in for them. You know, Rafinha. Uh, what are you laughing at, Slens? What are you laughing at? Your your mute, Slens. What are you laughing at? <laughs> yeah, this is just weird. Bro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do you know what put in a super chat and then she'll ask no yeah yeah yeah, there you <laughs> yeah what do you mean you're not joking right yes yes <laughs> um, <laughs> but yeah um yeah so um yeah so what well, sorry i've distracted again so i do apologize Wait, um, what, what is you, impressive man? what is impressive question. about <laughs> it is a random question yeah, but what we, is we, really we, impressive uh, about uh, leeds yeah. is that they came from championship and now they're a top half of the table team I guess, that's I guess very impressive. impressive do you know what's even more impressive well, if, they sorry, stars, if they keep their stars if they keep their stars yeah, be more yeah they keep like their stars Fina. we'll see what happens with Rafinha or what's even more impressive is that they've kept the same playing style and phillips yeah 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 divisions they've championship they play the same way and then up there, they went the same way. Do you know what I mean? So you have to respect it. Man. Yeah, you, have to respect it. Yeah, you do got to respect it. <laughs> it's very <laughs> rare. It's very <laughs> rare um, to see teams come from championship and be as um, make as big of an impact as Leeds has made this season. Wait, wait, wait. Tw- twink- twinky arms. What was that? Twinkie, I think he yeah, twinky. Twinky. Twink- oh, sorry. Twinky. 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 Yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah. those twinky arms are player of the year material, my friend. Hey. <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> Just because you're yes, playing it doesn't, doesn't make you sexy. Uh, let's, we'll move on. Let's move on. Put in a super chat and I'll answer the question. <laughs> 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 yeah. um, well, well, the lady said it herself. If you want I'll, to I'll answer that question. Otherwise, the red and blue podcast, you'll never know. Do you know what I love? We all answered uh, answer except for Lambs. I know. Well, that, <laughs> they didn't ask us, so we got our thoughts for free. You want Lambs' fault, which you put in the question for. That's premium. You know, That's premium. You, you, know, you know what she said? You know what she said? Um, okay, let's move on. Get Kai's, you even get Kai's thoughts as well. That's it. You got Kai, yeah. the Godfather. He's not even in the panel. Well. So um, yeah. let's move on quickly to Spurs. Uh, I think yeah, I think the only thing mentioned there was uh, Gareth Bale scored a hat trick and Son yeah. scored uh, his 100th goal for Spurs. Probably one of the most 100 wasted goals of anyone's career for Spurs. Well, there we go. <laughs> um, <laughs> he did score. Um, what do we think? Gareth Bale, Gareth Bale finally coming into form when he has to go back to Real Madrid. Oh, hmm, funny that. Um, but uh, what did you think of his hat trick at all? Uh, and, uh, let me go Max. first. Let me go first. Oh, right. Sorry, Slims. Yeah, yeah. Um, Will's here. Hello, Hi, Will. Will. You're back. Hello. 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 Hello Are you okay, mate? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Just had some things to do. But I'm okay, perfect. Man. All right, no mate. problem. Awesome. Um, yeah, man. Sorry, OCD. Uh, go on. <laughs> do, do you know what? When it comes to that game, I mean, that game is uh, is basically an Audi Cup. It's a postseason friendly, right? It doesn't, doesn't no one cares. Doesn't matter. But one thing I want to say about Bale is that guy. He might as well be playing with an Apple Watch, man. He probably like he needs to check his fitness and form because he doesn't care about his Spurs. He cares about his fitness, part yeah. about his form. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He wants to yeah. check his heartbeat. Man doesn't yeah. care about that team, man. You could tell he was celebrating yeah. like like they, they just won the Champions League final. Like fair enough, yeah. he scored a hat trick. Oh, come on, bro. Like, it's, I think it's very embarrassing. The, the way Spurs fan acted when he signed, yeah. I just want to kind of like, get into uh, Spurs. Best man. front three in the league, they were saying. Yeah, like, one of them, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Listen, yeah. Every week, yeah. we're, we're going to have a section guys. of the show where we just slander Spurs, yeah? 
I yeah, well, that, no, d- listen. When we do the <laughs> we 1K, had it last when we week do the 1K me. video, when we do the 1K celebration video, yes, that'll be part of it. But all, yeah. every week as well on this show, we'll do it course, as well. Course, uh, Lambs, <laughs> uh, Bale's hat trick. What did you think? Oh. Lambs? No, I was just, just to literally brush it. I was literally just thinking, if you guys had like a little segment where you could, you could, you could call it Spurs Slander segment, Triple S, that really just rolls off the top. I like it. I like it. It's a good idea. It's a good idea. But um, yeah, that was about the only... Um, <laughs> what the hell? Enough of this mouthy constant. She's actually very attractive. Anybody she see is. her? She is. Yeah. Very, very attractive. I was very surprised. Yeah. <laughs> Don't be. Listen. We all know what talks. We all know what talks. Um, but yeah, like it's. We always knew Bale was talented. Like this wasn't like this was literally just a change of scenery. I think the guy just needed a break from Real Madrid and the toxicity over there. But why would you ever trade up to? to why would you ever like downgrade? You only yeah. upgrade. You know what I mean? Like. The fact is, he always knew he was going back. He always knew he was never going to take Spurs seriously. I think this season has just strengthened what he always thought in the first place, which was, yep, I made the right decision. Uh, good to see uh, Son smiling after he was crying. Yeah, this- yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> And this 100th goal is probably the, is the best achievement he's probably going to achieve while he's there. So you might as well smile about yeah. it. because, uh, Or maybe he's smiling because he realised I'm out of here in the summer. Somebody's already come in for me. Like, So I don't know. But yeah, Bale's quality. He's always been quality. He's shown that in glimpses by pulling out... Um, a few quality goals here and there. It's a shame it didn't mean anything. But and you've noticed sometimes he'll score an absolute screamer and then they'll go and lose the game. My guy's still smiling, he doesn't give a crap, which is supposed to no, know, which no. is supposed to show you everything you need to know. But yeah, and it's against Sheffield United. So who yeah. can, can, we, can we just deep something? You know he, he's used yeah, right, right, he's used Spurs like like a, like a treadmill man. He's used it as just a way yeah. just to get yeah, fit. You know, like a gym membership. You know what it's like, it's, like you, it's like those camps in America, at least. Sorry, Marshall. Camps in America, they send the kids to fat camp or <laughs> biggest loser camp or something, you know, to get fit. That's what he's used Spurs for. He admitted it as well in an interview in his last international break. He's only oh, using Spurs could basically never be like fat camp. Could never be my club, um, But Will, what did you think of uh, Bale's... I even deny that. ...and uh, <laughs> uh, Son it? scoring his 100th goal? I mean, Son... Wait, it was Son's 100th goal? Ooh, yeah, I for mean, Spurs, it was a hundred goal. Yeah. I mean, he's won nothing, so congrats, Son. <laughs> You've um, contributed to failure for all your for about four years. Hey. Hey. Um, but Bale, he, you know, he's he's one of the best players in the last ten years, really. Maybe not now, but he he was a world class player. He's still got the talent. And if Zidane somehow leaves Madrid, if they maybe bottle the Liga and bottle the champions well not bottle but not win the champions league you know yeah you never know bale could be back at madrid next year but that's probably unlikely but yeah it was no. a good performance from bale i wasn't really expecting much from bale when he came in he's probably actually done better than what i thought he'd do to be fair so he's been good in the recent weeks so i guess that's good for him but can spurs, i ask you guys something uh, i'll oh, continue on my bad sorry sorry with spurs at the moment there's n- is there any point watching them really and there's no. there- there's no point. They're, all the managers are rejecting them. Apparently, Sari has as well. Good, good old Sari. But um, yeah, they're just a shit club, really, aren't they? They're just. When you when, guys were you like me when um, before they announced the Man United Liverpool game was off? Were you like me going, keep pushing back the time, keep pushing back the time, make it around the Spurs match time so then <laughs> I can just watch the Man United match. I'm not. I didn't watch the Spurs match. Anyway, I just watched the highlights. So, but you I'll know. Watch the yeah, will you watch the match? Jesus Christ! I love football, <laughs> so I watch any any match. Uh, but no, I, um, I, I think Marshall. I think I was. I was uh, yeah, go on. Sorry, go on. sorry. Yeah, sorry. Go on, Marshall. Um... No, I was going to ask you guys. Um, I know we're all talking about Bale, and by the way, those goals were very convincing goals. He had really nice goals, but the guy's more concerned about Wales than he is about uh, oh, the yeah, jersey yeah. he plays yeah, with. Yeah, yeah. But um, well, I want to ask you guys, Madrid, what did you guys think of Delhi Alley finally starting again? The meaning guy's this, been meaning this game. I think, I think yeah, he's, great, he's going this for a, a quarter life crisis, man. No matter, that haircut. You like, see, I he think... had a completely new haircut. Like he, he was recognizable. Honestly uh, yeah. speaking, he was he was just average again. Yeah, yeah he was. So he's he is uh, he's a grace. footballer that thinks he's better than he actually is. He's mm. all, he's got a lot of talent. We know that from 
how he broke through at the edge was at 19 under Pochettino, came from MK Dons. Yeah. But he's just, he's just, he's, I think he's going to, yeah, I think he's done at the top. I, I can't see him being a great player anymore. I think, yeah, I agree. you know, a lot of stuff has happened off the pitch with, mm. and especially with him and Jose. Mm. Um, I just well, don't think he has that mentality to want to be a winner. If I'm being honest, no, I just don't I, yeah, think I, he has yeah, it in. Yeah. No, you're right. Um, I think, though, yeah, I think Prime's all right there for once in the comment. That um, <laughs> Joe said, Joe said, oh, Lance's gone. I think it's a Wi-Fi. Oh, no, she's back again. Um, yeah. <laughs> That's probably Daddy Ali paying off a Wi-Fi. Daddy Ali taking off the Wi-Fi there. Oh, you know what I mean? Let's talk about yeah. Spurs and they judge. <laughs> oh, no. He's done it again. Oh, no. He's done, done it again. again. Hang on. There you go. There she's back. She's back. She's back. Good. Um, but, yeah, I think Spurs, yeah, the only reason people watched them was Mourinho. Essentially, whether they play bad or good, um, but yeah, Spurs still in with a shot of finishing in the top four. Um, so they're still in there with an outside shot. We do have to worry about them. Um, Ryan Mason, <laughs> funny. There was a, there was a, a thing it, you can't really tell, but you don't don't ever take your thing from Twitter. But there was like a someone retweeted something like they were seriously considering Ryan Mason. <laughs> <laughs> as, <laughs> <laughs> as, as his replacement, and I can. The only reason why I was thinking is that no one wants to go to you, so that's why it's coming. I mean, after today, uh, they do have Leeds, tough one, Wolves, they'll beat Wolves, Villa, and then they've got Leicester City on the final day. So they've got really they've got two tough games. Wait, wait, wait uh, Ryan Mason, I'm sorry, could you just go back to this? Yeah, Ryan Mason. <laughs> yeah, Ryan Mason, yeah. Better than Southgate, be my club, I guess. Better than Southgate. Could never be my club. Well, I mean, if managers are rejecting you, you don't have a choice, do you? Oh, my God. But uh, is there no one... Is there no other coach there quite more qualified than Ryan Mason? I mean, is there like... What's the... What's the... What's the reserve? What's the under-23 boss? They must have more... Ledley King! Doesn't he not... Does not, he not have more experience? Maybe he rejected it. Maybe he was like, I'm not going near that mess. Yeah. Uh, to, to be true. fair, the, the Spurs legend Tom Huddleston should should take over, man. Like Tom Huddleston. <laughs> and be, uh, you know, since Lampard was Chelsea manager, do you know what Spurs have? Do you know what Spurs fans have wanted to be? They wanted to be us last season, bringing through the youth, playing decent football, creating chances. You know, appeasing the fans. So they they would hate a manager like uh, Sari, wouldn't they? Who'd actually want yeah. to win trophies yeah. and play who he yeah. wants to play. Sorry, sorry, he's, so, he's, he's gone to Roma, which I did say a few yeah. weeks ago. I think to you, Will, that he might that's go to Roma. Oh, that's, that's confirmed. An odd move. Yeah. That's, that's, that's a very odd move. Yeah. To be fair, uh, Roma are like yeah. Spurs of Italy anyway, so yeah, it's no that's difference, true. really, is it? <laughs> Roma are the Spurs of Italy. I think, yeah, I think Lam, Lam did, uh, I, I don't know who controls your Wi Fi there, but are they a Spurs fan, just in case? Let's see. Lambs. Yeah, I've, I've, I've cursed myself. Like, <laughs> I feel like he senses it. Maybe there's like hidden cameras or like an audio device here. Wow. wow. But and, and <laughs> that's that's a little weird, said, man. Um, you know, well, I said they wanted to be like so, us under. For hidden audio devices. No, I'm Paranoid <laughs> landlord, Jesus. Wait, Andrew, you know, um, I said they wanted to be like us under Lampard. They'll never even get to be like us under Lampard. They won't even reach that level because their youth, <laughs> their youth and their academy is nowhere let near us. Well, I understand. Let me stop you there. Because on this channel, there'll be loads of videos to slam Spurs. With. Uh, I guarantee <laughs> that. Okay, we will be slamming Spurs on a regular basis, no matter what, what stream we do. It will always somehow come around to Spurs. But let's move on to the last mm -hmm. game we're going to cover, which is important in top four race itself. Everton won Aston Villa two, which uh, we are not, which puts them nine points behind us with a game in hand. Um, uh, Lambs, uh, yeah, uh, Everton sort of a, a bit like Leeds in effect. You know what I mean? They'll, they've got on a win and run two or three games and they will lose like two or three. I think Don... Don Carlo's done pretty well to keep them even within touching different the touching difference, touching distance of a top four race. Um, what did you think of the result of their and uh, performance from Everton? I mean, the thing is with Everton, it's really weird because sometimes they'll come out and pull out a great performance. You're yeah. just like, oh, yeah, maybe they do look like they are that European team. They are coming up to European places. And then other times, they'll you'll just be like, I'm really disappointed with this Everton that turns mm. out. Like, um, 
when they played us against when we were under Lampard, fair enough, we weren't we weren't playing too well at that point, but they still played very well and they they beat us quite convincingly. To be honest, like I didn't I didn't see us coming back to equalise in that game. Do you know what I mean? I thought I felt like if anyone was going to score, it would have been them. Um, but then when we played them again in the return leg, like, and we can't we comfortably beat them two 0 and Kai Havertz just yeah. tore apart their midfield. I was just really, I was really like confused as to like how bad they were. I wasn't expecting them to be that bad. I mean, I still expect us to beat them, but yeah. I expected it to be more of a difficult of, of of a difficult one. And I don't know if it's again lack of squad depth. Um, maybe it's a mentality issue because they haven't really been this um, this high up at this stage competing at this level. Um, for a very very long time, Everton they've been you know they've kind of dropped to like a mid table standard, but you know so maybe it is a case of you know Leicester bottom in the Champions League places last year. Maybe Everton just about miss out on the European spaces this year because they do need a little bit of work. They still need to strengthen their squad, but they've got a great manager and the way he's improved their squad already from the state that yeah. he found them in yeah. has been phenomenal and and yeah, yeah without a doubt. Literally, if they, if they continue to back him, I can only see Everton just um, becoming more and more competitive. So I think they, they're still possibly in contention for the Europa League places. Um, not Champions League spaces this year, I'm afraid. But um, yeah, um, it's, it's, it's a bit weird. I was expecting them to beat this Villa um, team, especially because, you know, not having Jack Grealish has affected yeah. their performances lately. Yeah. But Again, you just, I think maybe it's a mentality thing, but you know, big ups to Ollie Watkins again, once again, shout out yeah, to him. Yeah, shout out to him. Um, they play, probably enough, West Ham's next, then they play Villa again, and uh, it must have been like a cancelled thing from mm. a, 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 earlier, like a cup game. Then they play Sheffield United, and then they play <clears> Wolves. So they have, people got to be wary, if they do slip up Everton on, on paper, apart from the West Ham game, Everton have got some fixtures there. Uh, that they could capitalise on, but it will depend. That's what I mean. We have to make sure that we um, we obviously capitalise and make sure we don't slip up, which is harder than our run of fixes. Can I just say, anyone who's wondering about Arsenal, um, their game was so insignificant this weekend that it didn't affect anyone that we are not going to mention that game at all because it was meaningless, even more meaningless than the Spurs game because nothing happened in that game. It was so. It no, was no, so meaningless. No, no, wait, it, Andrew, wait, Andrew, wait, Andrew. One thing. It was so meaningless. Around the 60th minute, they just started putting on the protests on Sky Sports. They just, that's all they were speaking about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the game in the oh, corner. Yeah. The game in the corner, the protest full screen. Um, uh, Will, what did you uh, what do you think of the result and Everton um, slipping up? Uh, I mean, Everton were always an outsider yeah. to maybe try and get in the Champions League. And you know what? Maybe with another good summer with Carlo Ancelotti, maybe they could get get even closer next year. I think I think they're out of it now, though. If I'm being honest, even yeah. if we might we might drop points. We probably will drop points at least. Yeah, we're, uh, yeah, we're bound to drop points. I think. Yeah, yeah but you know, Everton. They'll probably where are they? Fin- where are they? Uh, in the sixth or seventh or something. So they're probably going to get Europa League, which is a good finish for them, yeah. considering where they've been in recent years. So, yeah, <laughs> I think. You know, maybe they're currently eighth. It's still eighth. Oh, right. okay. okay, so they're still in the they're still in the running for yeah. I think but they might get the right conference this round. Yeah, yeah. 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 Same I mean, as there's talks of yeah. getting um Coutinho, isn't there? There's talks of them going for Coutinho. That that could be another good signing, which could ha- help them build. I don't. Their see, I I'll but, briefly say this. I think Everton need a goalie and another defender and another striker. Dominic Cavett. Bigford. Bigford's Dominic actually been decent Dominic recently. Dominic Cavett Lewin's goals have dried up. They that. have, but the, I yeah, guess have, with that, me- he's meant to form a partnership with Richardson, so I don't know if they'll get both dried up. Fraud, Since, oh my uh, God. Don Carlo- I'm, I'm just really excited to see the reception that Coutinho will receive in the Merseyside derby. Oof. Yes, it might be a bit much. Yeah, yeah. Um, that might be something. Uh, Slens, Don Carlo. Uh, yeah, man. Outside, very, very outside chance, even a couple of months ago, finishing top four. Um what do you think of his season so far in Everton? I think it's, it's up and down, man. Um, he's had he's had a lot of injuries and he's had to kind of put the pieces together. He's, he's played like a 4 5 1. He's played the three at the back at one point, 4 4 2. So you can tell he's had to adjust to the injuries. He, I, I love him, man. He's I've got a lot of bias towards him. But one thing about that game that I loved is uh, 
Aston Villa's goalkeeper, man. Like Martinez again, <laughs> yeah. impressive, impressive again. I think yeah, that guy, yeah. bro, that that guy could have saved my last relationship from breaking down, man. He could save anything, <laughs> man. I swear, he is, he's incredible, man. I swear, like he's, he, I really wanted him. Mendy's doing really well, but I really wanted him because he came at low yeah. price as well. So. He's so good. Yeah, it was a good game, man. Good game. Man. Mendy's, 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 Mendy's better. Um, uh, Marshall, uh, what do you think of Don uh, Don Carlo's season so far with the Everton? Um. Look, considering, let me let me just check where they were last year, man. Um, yeah, considering where they were last year, mm. yeah, this man has made a huge impact. This this team was a, like a bottom of the table team last yeah. year. Yeah, you know they're they're like I remember when when I when I was watching the Premier League when I was younger, Everton was always up there with the top four. They were always competing. They were a very relevant team, and they just completely fell out of relevancy. And it's nice to see that. A manager as as great as Carlo Ancelotti um, is just putting in the work and making them relevant again. So I, I really hope that just for his sake as a manager, he does get back and he he can show that he is still one of the top managers in the game. Yeah. But that game yesterday, or not yesterday, was it yesterday? Two days ago? I don't even yes, remember anymore. Uh, it was two days ago. Yeah, two days I think. Days ago. So that game two days ago, that first half was really entertaining to watch. Mm. Um, I was just, I'm just surprised that Aston Villa even came out with a win because considering how bad they've been without Jack Grealish recently, it's been shocking. The you want to talk about uh, they're the one man seriously. Team in you want to talk about someone that carries a team? Jack Grealish carried that Aston Villa team. It is yeah. ridiculous, <laughs> and it's crazy because they have such good talent: David Luiz, uh, Ali Watkins, even Ross Barkley when he was playing with Jack Grealish looked impressive. They have good players. Uh, and it's just it's it's just Douglas fallen Louise, to complete Douglas shit. Louise, not David Louise, oh Douglas. my bad, yeah, Douglas Luiz. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> too too many similar names in the Brazilian in the Brazilian uh, culture over there. But you uh, think about it, most Brazilians pretty much have like the same name. It's either like something Inho da Silva, <laughs> yeah, something da Silva, yeah, yeah. Inho Costa, Ron, whatever. Ron yeah, it's it's Ron it's. Ron Crazy, uh, but that the Aston Villa defense has been absolutely terrible. Tyrone Mings is making is not making a good case for himself in the England squad. That we'll that defense we'll has been. We'll I don't know how. Squad. I don't know how. That is Dyer that says gets, a lot about the English national team. Tyrone Mings gets in the squad. That so says Dyer. a lot about the English national team because that defense has been in shambles for Aston Villa. Good that they won. Uh, unfortunately, Everton didn't show up like they they should have. Um, Calvert Lewin's goals has dried up. I think Richarlison has been a fucking fraud this whole season. The man, mm. I saw it from the beginning. The man misses more opportunities than he scores scores them. So I, I didn't think yeah. he was ever going to be that great for them. He's been terrible, man. And that wraps it up for that wraps up for the games. Uh, if you're thinking why we talked about Chelsea, we did a review of that yesterday with Eunice. Please go check out yeah. that video. Go check that out. Uh, great video. Check out. Um, like I said, the. Uh, if anyone noticed, they might have noticed ads. Uh, I'll just say it again, ads at the start of the video or when you log on this. That's because the channel is now monetized. You've already seen also a dollar sign in the bit for Super Chats. You can donate Super Chats if you want to. We will still put your chats on here. So if you want to, and, who, and those that have donated, we thank you very much. Uh, three of these panel donated. Appreciate it so much, I everyone. I do because I'm tight with my money. But, yeah. I tried. <laughs> I tried. I tried. <laughs> Uh, make yeah. the serious board decision. That's why. <laughs> That's very, yeah. So if you want to donate, you can do so. Uh, but like I said, please like the video, share it, subscribe to the channel. We're still motoring on. Um, links and links are in the description to these guys' channels and the Twitter as well. Um, also, we will be doing a special review of the Real Madrid game, no matter what happens on Thursday. And then we were doing a 1K video. There's not a day yet. We're doing it this weekend. The 1K video will be either Friday or Saturday. We're just finalizing that at this moment in time. Um, like I said, and we'll also let you know how the how that video is going to, uh, how that stream is going to happen. Um, but like I said, uh, thank you for joining us, guys. Is there anything you want to shout out before we leave? Anything at all? Um, I mean... Just smash that like button, guys. Yes. Seriously, smash the like button before you leave. Hit the hit the subscribe. If you if you have a friend that is poorly educated with football knowledge, show him this channel. Do, do, do you yes. know what? Uh, sh sh shameless plug. I'm, I'm yeah. one of 74 subscribers. If you guys could just get me to 80, yeah. 
Yeah. Oh, and Slens talks. I'm on 74. No, 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 80, 80, 80, 100. No, no, 100. It's not 100, man. 1,000. 1,000. Come on, come on. 1,000. Yes, 2,000. A million. 1 million. Yeah. Lance as well. Lance is on the road to 200. I'm actually doing quite well, you know. Yeah, yeah. Like, I'm close to 140, which is good. Yeah, exactly. Lambs she 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 recently uploaded as well. Listen so check her out. Check her yeah, out. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm uploading the um the um reaction to Fulham. I think either late tonight or tomorrow morning. It depends how long this thing takes to upload. That's true. That's true. <laughs> there you That's go. True. Um, but yeah, like you said, subscribe to the channel, like share the video. These guys' channels as well. Please go because yeah, all of them in the description. All of them are in the description. You know what? You'll be doing yourself a favor because they do great content. All of them. Okay. Um, barring that. Like I said, we'll be doing a couple of videos the rest of the week. Kai will be on those videos as well. Uh, he's going to be very busy over the next few weeks. So you might not, he might pop in and out, but he will be here this week. Uh, but thank you very much for those who have been supporting us from day one. We, over, we hit 1K, and thank you for donating appreciate you guys. guys that did. We do appreciate that very much. So And those guys that are in the chat always that support us and watching us on a Monday night at half 10. This oh, has been... if you're in the UK, don't forget to go and vote. Thank you. Yes, yep, yep, exactly. Yes, voting is very important. Voting is very important. It's your choice. And do your I'm research saying, before you important. vote. Don't just vote what your parents are voting for. Do yeah, your exactly, research. exactly. Really, really. And if, it if you're actually, I'm not going to say what's going to say. I'm not going to say. Yeah, don't say anything. Yeah. Let's not get before. into politics. Just, uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. But yeah, go and uh, go and vote. All good. Thank you very much. This has been KH the Rivals. We'll be back next Monday. Uh, have a good night. Um, Kai's not here. Don't do drugs. Have a good night. Thank you and good brother. <laughs>